Hello, my name is Jacob Zegata, and I'm super excited to be talking with you today. Um, just going to share a little bit about my journey, my journey in life, my journey through education, my journey in my career, um, and hopefully you find some of this valuable. Uh, but a little bit of background on myself. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Grady baby, born and raised. I grew up east of the city. Um, and I come from, you know, first generation American family. I was the first person in my family to be born in America. Uh, first person to go to college, first person to graduate from college, go to grad school. Um, and had a lot of really interesting experiences along the way that have shaped a lot of who I am. And, and my hope is to share a little bit of that journey with you today. Um, but what do I do now? So I live in Atlanta, um, in the West End with my wife. Uh, and I work for a company called VIA. So we do tech or transportation tech is what we call it. Uh, we develop apps, backend technologies for transit agencies, for anything, anyone, anywhere, anybody's trying to get around. Um, so I'm an expansion principal, which means I deploy these technologies in new cities as we launch new services. Uh, before that, I worked in the mayor's office here in Atlanta. So I was Mayor Bottom Senior Transportation Policy Advisor. Um, so advising her on all things transportation. And before that, I was a management consultant uh, working at a firm, uh, McKinsey and Company. Um, but, you know, a lot of different jobs, a lot of different experiences, um, but it all began with education. So um, before starting my career, I went to school at Georgia Tech, uh, where I studied civil engineering. Uh, and I actually stuck around, did a master's in civil engineering while I was there. Um, I had a really great experience. Um, and then when I graduated, I was about to start working and um, won a really big scholarship. So I moved to London for two years and, and actually went to more graduate school there and did two more master's degrees in urban planning um, before I started my career here back in Atlanta. So a little bit on that journey. Um, the first thing I wanna talk through is exposure, right? So you see somebody like me, maybe somebody like you. No one in my family had ever gone to college. I actually had never met a civil engineer before I started studying civil engineering. Um, and I can unequivocally say that exposure is the only way that I have gotten to where I'm at. And when I say exposure, I mean exposure to people, exposure to ideas, exposure to opportunities, right? You don't know what you don't know. And the best way to figure these things out is through people, through mentors, through you know, people who have seen more than you've seen. It can help you understand what you're really looking for. Because we think we got it figured out. I think every year I got it figured out and then the next year comes something new has, has happened and I change direction. Um, so, you know, maybe lesson number one or point number one, exposure, have people around you. Seek out people, find people who can help you broaden your horizons. Uh, for me, the, I met a black professor at Georgia Tech. He was the only other black like, person in the department that I found. He became a mentor. He's the one who talked to me about going to grad school. First person who ever really put that on my radar, and I probably would have never gone if we didn't talk, and, and that changed my life. So that's one exposure. But let's say you get exposure. Let's say you, you go to the school you wanna be at. Let's say you have all the opportunities. You're gonna have roadblocks. No matter how successful you are, you're gonna have roadblocks. Um, and you gotta overcome them. So for me, uh, I'll, I'll never forget, after my, my freshman and sophomore year, uh, at Georgia Tech, I had a 4.0 GPA, which was, um, you know, I worked hard to get it. And, and I thought it was going to open up every door. That's what everybody said. Do well in school and all these doors will open up. And uh, I went to school wanting to work in construction. My dad worked in construction. I said, hey, if I can get a college degree and do this, I can do some big things. And uh, I happened to be in school just during the last recession. And what happened was nobody was building anything. So for two years, two summers in a row, I went out for every internship I could find in construction. And I couldn't get one. I couldn't get one. Um, I felt like I was doing all the right things. I was a student athlete. I had great grades. But the opportunities just, they weren't landing. Um, and for me, what I found is when you have roadblocks, you improvise, right? You detour. So I actually ended up getting you know, an internship uh, my sophomore year doing research. Nothing to do with anything I wanted to do. I had no interest in doing research, but it paid. Um, and then I got that on my resume, and what it did is it gave me the opportunity to go the next summer and find a job that I wanted to find. Um, and I ended up actually landing a job at ExxonMobil. Um, and, and it paid more than like I ever thought I would make, and it was an opportunity that came um, that I never would have expected, um, that I never thought I'd be qualified for, be able to grab. Um, but it came because I took a detour, and I did 
what needed to be done and, 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 and found that opportunity. The next piece is failure, right? So you're going to have roadblocks and you're going to fail. Um, I know that in, in my career, I have made some bad decisions. I've messed up some things. I've been on the hot seat. I worked in city government. I, I was getting shouted at uh, at times by people in the public, by the mayor, by whomever. Um, and, you know, people always like to tell stories about failing and what comes out of it, right? And I often don't tell stories, but what I will say is that failure is a part of the process. You just got to fail. And you got to fail fast and you got to come back. Um, you can't be afraid of it. If you look at the people who have really done amazing things, the people that we all look up to the most, they're people who have failed um, and, and pushed past it. And, and that's a part of it. But what you can't do, and, and this is something that I know a lot of young brothers do, is you can't be afraid of it. You can't let your ego get in the way um, and let your ego be the reason that you don't do something, right? That you don't apply for that opportunity, that you don't walk into that door, that you don't speak up and try to create that opportunity for yourself. Because... You know, whether you actually do it or not, um, failure is there. It's just a question of did you try. Another topic, and, and this is something that, you know, people don't always talk about. But in the end, um, you know, you're building your life, you're building your career, and you're building it for a reason. That reason is not to have a dream job. That reason is not to have money per se. That reason is to do something that you care about, right? It may be taking care of your family. It may be building a family. It may be taking care of your community. Um, and that's something I, I find very near and dear in my heart is like building a career that means something to me, having a purpose uh, in my career. And I would advise any young person who's, who's going about it to do the same, right? Um, to spend time thinking about the things that you value. And make sure that throughout your career, because you're going to have a long career, that you spend time doing those things, whether it be in your job or outside of your job. So, for example, I'm from Atlanta. I love this city. I left a high paid consulting job to go and work for the mayor and I took a big pay cut. Um, I didn't do it because, you know, it was going to pay more. I didn't do it for the accolades. I did it because I believe in service. I believe in Atlanta. Um, I believe in having a purpose. Right. Um, and since I've left the city of Atlanta, um, and again, that purpose of serving the community, um, of being involved, is something that I carry. And, you know, I'm on nonprofit boards. I do a number of things, right? And, and I would just push you to, as you start your career, think about what your purpose is. And then think about how you weave that in your career, right? Your first job out of school, your first job in your 20s, shoot, maybe your, your third job is not, may not be living in your purpose, right? It may not be doing that exact thing that you always thought you would do, but it doesn't mean that it's the wrong place to be at that time. Um, and it doesn't mean that you can't supplement it outside of work and, and move towards a broader purpose in your life. Um, so maybe I'll just close with some advice um, for anybody who's trying to do some of the things I've done. So working in a consulting firm, working in tech, working in the government, um, you know, advising a mayor. And my advice to you would be just to chase to chase the things that you care about, um, to build your career on the things that you value, and to take risks. We get into this place of often believing that the next decision I make is going to be the most important decision in my life. And if you sit and talk to people who have built amazing careers, you will find that it has been a series of points that have been connected. And those points don't always make sense in the moment. And each of those decisions that seem super important, important in that moment when you actually set them all up and look backwards, it, it flows. So, you know, my advice would be think about where you want to be, start building a plan and moving and detouring and calling an audible and, and, and moving in that direction and realize that it won't be a straight line. Um, but if you put yourself out there, if you overcome the roadblocks, if you're not afraid of failing and you have the right people in your corner, giving you the exposure you need, helping you understand things you don't understand, you're going to be just fine. Um, and you'll do amazing things. So thank you for listening. Uh, super excited to be sharing some words and the little bit of wisdom I've been able to pick up along the way. And uh, best of luck.